Good morning. I am here in a very wet and windy bowling. Bowling is the name of the place where this run starts. It's just outside of Glasgow. That's where I'm going to start. Run the full 4th and Clyde Canal. That takes us to Falkirk. At Falkirk, we move on to the Union Canal. And Union Canal takes us into Edinburgh. So it's a sort of Glasgow to Edinburgh run today. About 106 kilometres all in. Unfortunately, looking particularly wet and windy out there. The weather forecast is crapamondo. But hey, I've had it nice for the last few runs, so time for a proper wet one. Because I'm going to be following the canal the whole way, there's not actually that many shops and stuff en route. So what I've done is I've pretty much loaded up my bag with, I think, everything that I'm going to need for the whole day, apart from water. Uh, maybe I can just open my mouth and drink the water from the sky. But my pack weighs quite heavy. I think it's about six kilograms. I weighed it just before coming out. Heavy enough, but not too bad. Right, bye-bye. Hey, so, here we go. So yeah, this is it. This is the start. <laughs> I know, out here on my own. Starting and it is just uh, 20 past 7. So uh, I don't actually know how long the run's going to take me to do. Somewhere around 10 or 11 hours. But we'll see. Right, I suppose I better get the head torch on, eh? So this is me just about to come under the Erskine Bridge. There we go. It's not actually raining as much as I thought it was going to be. Although, to be honest, there's a big storm on its way. Well, that was good timing. So this is about one of the only road crossings that I am going to have. Uh, the rest all go underneath. Dalmuir, that's where we are. So that's about five kilometres in. That's Clyde Bank shopping centre. Cool thing about Clyde Bank is that it lies right on the flight path for Glasgow Airport. Don't really need the head torch anymore. Ah, oh, what a gloomy day. That's Westerton train station over there. Just 20 past eight, so we've been on for an hour. So that's where we've come from, bowling. And that's where we're heading for Falkirk Wheel. Wow. So that down there is the River Kelvin. And we're just coming up to Maryhill Locks. Which is probably about one of the only hills that is going to be on the route just as it works its way up the different locks. It's Mary Hill Road there heading into Glasgow. Right, this is me at the brand new Springfield Junction. A very cool new bridge and viewing platform up there. And this is where the canal splits. So that's the way that I've come from. That's the way that I'm going to be heading. This way takes you into town. Uh, it takes you along to Spears Wharf. So this is now us heading towards Bishop Briggs. Twenty-four kilometers done. I forgot about this road crossing. Anyway, this is Kirkintilloch. Oh, very good. Now, earlier this year, I ran the John Muir Way, which goes from Helensburgh over to Dunbar. Now, it uses a lot of the canal, but it kind of goes along a bit and then deviates off. If you're interested, I made a video about it. <laughs> anyway, so this is uh, this is where we join it for the first time. Go. Oh. The wee signs for it. That's the Campsie Hills over there, 31 kilometres, and it is now just 10 o'clock, so we've actually going quite quick. 
sometimes you just gotta go while the going's going good. Quite hard. This is so long, so flat. Yeah, it passes the miles quicker, but it's really hard going on the legs. Wow, that's me going under the M80, going from Glasgow up to Stirling, and also that's now 42 kilometres. First marathon done. And that's in three hours 42. That's an all right marathon time, actually. I'm not sure exactly what the next marathon will be. It's not going to be as quick as that, that's for sure. So two miles to the Falkirk wheel. Kind of hoping that there's going to be one of these water station things there. It'd be quite good to top up around the halfway point. There we go. Made it to the Falkirk wheel. Right. The fourth and fir I was getting it wrong. Fourth and Clyde Canal. It just finishes about a kilometer up there. We cross over and up to join the Union Canal. I thought there might be one of these wee water refill things outside, but um, so I'm just going to need to nip in and see if I can get a top up of water. So just in the wee cafe, getting uh, getting water filled up. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Oh, perfect. That's great. Thank you very much. You. Cheers. Hey, Santa. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to hang about in here too long because it's lovely and cosy, and uh, it's going to feel absolutely freezing when I go back out there. Right. A wee hill to get up to the top here. This wee hill is what this uh, Falkirk wheel takes care of. Yeah. It moves wee barges from this level up onto that level here and then... It's funny when you stop just for a few minutes, like cold, really cold and it is. Been really just consistently drizzly to mildly heavy rain the whole time, so... Right. Ah, so unfortunately path is closed, so having to divert up through this way. Might as well eat a wee sandwich while I'm going. Peanut butter and jam. Yum. I've no idea where I'm going now. <laughs> you would have thought they would have put some diversion signs. Oh well, all else fails. Follow the signs for the John Muir way. I know that's going to take me up onto the Union Canal anyway, so must be up this way somewhere. This is it, I think. I'll definitely go on the right way because that is the final destination. Edinburgh, 31 and a half miles. And around here there's a big tunnel, which when I did the John Muir way, it cuts off a different way so you don't get to go through it. So uh, now I am going to get to go through it. Look at that. There we go. Cool. Really rather dark in here. Should really dig a head torch, eh? It's a bit better, can see where I'm going now. It's quite long as well. You can only just see the other end there. Coming up to the uh, Avon Viaduct. Oh, it's quite a big drop down there, eh? And these cobbles are so bloody awkward. So, I mean, walk on, never mind try and run on them. Right, I'm just in Linlithgow. 67 kilometres. Things are starting to feel it now. Just this repetitiveness. Push, 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 push. Yeah. Very festive. Oh, jeez. Hi, oh, yeah, I'm finding this tough. I right, am now on 75 kilometres. About 30 left to go. This is the M8. M8 going from Glasgow through to Edinburgh. Oh. Wow. I'd really rather 
windy up here. Oh. It's on half past three, so it's probably going to start getting dark now. Yeah. Oh, this is quite cool. Oh, there we go. I'm in Ratho. Ten to four and just short of 90 kilometers, so 15 or 16k left to go. Ah, <sighs> such a mind game this. <laughs> As I said, it's easier just running flat, but without anything to mix it up, it's uh, quite hard to just stay mentally strong. Uh, it's times like this that you start, um, it's times like this you just start thinking about all the other runs that you do and it's easy enough when you're sitting at home watching back in videos and thinking about them that, it, you know, ah, they're just kind of nice big days out and not that hard. You get to this sort of stage on a big long run and you go, oh God, it is hard and they're all hard. That really are like <laughs> you just forget you just simply forget Yo. <laughs> busy <laughs> so I think this is me now just hitting the outskirts of Edinburgh just short of 10k to go oh. da, 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 da. <sighs> diddly bit 100k! Ah! <laughs> I think this is the end! <laughs> ah! Yeah, this is it. <laughs> right there is the end of the canal. Ah! Ah. Oh wow, I did it, did it, and guess what, in under 10 hours, I think I made it with 15 minutes to spare, and not that I actually set out to do it in under 10 hours, it was never ever on the radar, but, um, but I have. So where are we? Fountain Bridge Square on the Union Path. So that's it. Another one done. You know, I really doubted myself at certain points here. And yet, you know, just keep eating, keep pushing on. And, um, and here I am, finished. So the plan is now, go and get something to eat at a wee shop, over to the train station, train back to Glasgow. Until the next time, goodbye and have a Merry Christmas. Although by the time I get this video out, uh, it'll be well into January probably. Anyway, thank you for watching. See ya, bye.